Bitch, better have my money Glamnificent here, back at it again with the back at it again. And today we are going to be talking about something juicy, something bittersweet, okay? All of that. All right, so as you guys can tell by the title, this is a story time about the time I had a sugar daddy and the time he walked out of my life. Yes, he did. <laughs> um, back when I first started college. Uh, I started college in 2011 and um, at that time I believe I was what like damn how old was I yeah I think I was like 20 years old and I was at work I was working at CVS and I was uh, packing I believe envelopes away and so I'm doing stock work and I'm out of my business and I noticed this white guy he kind of looks like Santa. He's not as fat as Santa, but he does have a belly. And he's white with uh, a gray beard, no hair. Um, actually, did he have hair? I think he had like that receding hairline, if I'm not mistaken. So he kept walking by. I'm like, okay. So then he asked for something. I showed him. No, I told him it's down there. Then he comes back. Oh, um... And he gives him his card. He's like, oh, I think you're very beautiful. Can you please uh, call me? I'm like, no. Like, no. He's not my first sugar daddy. I've had other sugar daddies, but they, I wouldn't really call them sugar daddies because some of them were like my age. So I wouldn't really call them that. I would just call them sponsors. Is that quite sick? Like, mm, I'm not calling you. So I was about to throw it away, and something said, No, no, no. Keep that card for that cash. So I kept the card, and, um, you know, I was telling my, my, my friends about it and stuff like that. Like, oh, this guy came up to me, and like, what? They, they, they was like, Oh, you still got his card? I'm like, Yeah. They was like, Okay. So I was like, Hmm. Mm. It was like three days later, and I'm like, Should I call him? Um, cause I was like, oh, my bill needs to, my phone bill needs to be paid. <clears throat> I want to tell him to go and pay it. Like, I don't even need to see you go pay it. Go to any Boost Mobile store and pay my phone bill. At the time I had Boost Mobile and there's nothing wrong with Boost Mobile. Okay. I told him, I was like, hi, we're going to call him Jimmy. Okay. I'm not going to say his real name. And he was like, oh, I'm so happy to hear from you. I'm like, oh, thank you. He was like, oh, I was thinking about you ever since I gave you my card. I was nervous to give you my card. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, okay, that's nice. I was like, well, you know, it was nice talking to you. You won't probably hear from me for a while because my phone bill is due, but I got to pay for it. books. I don't have time to pay for my phone bill, so you probably won't hear from me. So he was like, oh, no, how much is your phone bill? I was like $60. So he was like, okay, how can we meet so I can pay it? So I'm like, got it. So I was like, um, I was like, you can actually go to a radio shack or you can actually go to a Boost Mobile store and pay it for me. So he was like, okay, it's a Boost Mobile store by my house because he lived upstate, okay? So he was like, it's a Boost Mobile store by my house. So I was like, okay, you can go pay it. Like, so he goes and pays it. And ever since I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna keep you close. He pays it like, I think the next day he went and paid it. And I was like, thank you. And he's so you know what? I went along with it. And it's like, I let him know, like, I'm, you know, into school. I don't have time to have a boyfriend and blah, blah, blah. Strictly gay, like strictly lesbian. So, and I'm sorry, even when I was into men, I was not into old men. I'm sorry, ill. He's like, all he wants is a friend. And then he started to be like, oh, I want, I want you to be my girlfriend. I want you to move in with me. I'm like, move in with you? He's like, yeah, I'll get a house and we can move in together. I'm like, no, 
you could get me a condo and you could come over. And he was like, aha, you're playing. I'm not, like, give me this cash. Like, come on. I noticed, like, probably, like, once a week, I would ask him for something. And I didn't care, like. And one of my friends was like, oh, you're milking the cow. And I'm like, oh, well, like, it's nothing for free. Like, and I'm so happy that I didn't have to do anything. Like, all I did was talk to him on the phone, not in like a sexual way. Once a week I would ask for something, I would say it's regarding school, I would say it's for food and stuff like that. Because even though it was school, I was in school, everything was taken care of, I really didn't need anything. You know, I had financial aid, so I didn't really need anything for school. It was mainly for like um, buying groceries or going shopping, buying hair you know, pack hair, stuff like that, like really, you know. Plus I wasn't working, so it was like, the money he gave me was actually going to good use, okay? So when he met me, I was working at um, CVS, but that was only a summer job. You know, I would ask for things, he would ask to see me. I did see him once, we went to IHOP, and I was kind of scared the whole time, like I really was. I'm like, oh my God, I hope he doesn't kidnap me, like, you know. So we, he drove, he drove to IHOP, we went to IHOP, ate, and he took me back to the train station, far away from my house, okay? So ladies, be careful with these sugar daddies. Don't go nowhere if you don't feel like it, and be careful, okay? Get your coin, but try to get it without even having to see him, okay? I met him in July, and we stopped talking in November. Those five months, I only seen him twice. The time I met him, and then the time that we went to IHOP, okay? We'll talk on the phone, he'll call me, I'll answer. Cause it's like, that's money right there, you know? So he'll be like, um, hi, I miss you. Oh, thank you, I miss you too. Oh, um, I wanna see you. Mm, you know, I'm busy with schoolwork. I gotta, I gotta babysit. <laughs> you know, I will always have an excuse. I feel bad now. Um, but hey, I needed the money and I didn't put no gun to his head or anything. I didn't take anything from him. I asked him, he gave it, I took it. It's not like I, I pressured him into doing it. I didn't have, he didn't have to do any of it. He's a grown ass man, okay? So y'all don't come at me like, oh, you, you took his, whatever. So, and I'm not a gold digger. It's just, you know, I did have a shaker daddy and I would get another one. Like, I don't care. It, listen, people do it all the time. They just don't, they just don't label it. Like, whatever. Um, now it's getting close to November. I noticed he starts getting a little impatient. Like, when am I gonna see you? This is ridiculous. Um, I miss you. I want us to move in already. You said school is almost up. What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, listen, when I graduate, then I'll move in. Like, I'm like, I have another year, so. I'm not trying to move in with you. I don't even know you, come on. November comes, I'm like, oh, I need money. So he's like, oh, okay, I'll send it tomorrow. And if tomorrow will come, nothing will come. Cause he was sending through Western Union. And Western Union basically is where they send it to Western Union, then um, they go to a check cash in place or like CVS or something like that. And they'll do Western Union or MoneyGram, it's the same thing. They'll, um, they'll go to the check cash in, they'll tell the teller, hey, I wanna send $50 Western Union They'll get a receipt and they'll have an MTCN number, which is the number that you'll get. Um, so if somebody if somebody's from like the Brooklyn and they send it something to California, they'll have the number. You'll go to the check cashing place, fill out the paper, and you'll say, "Hey, I'm here to pick up Western Union," and they'll they'll give you your money. Say I racked at least at least like. 900 because he'll send like 50 100 50 100 50 50 100 60 80 stuff like that you know like if i ask for if i ask for 160 he'll be like i can only do 80. i'm like okay um like you know that's okay because that's all i needed you know or like i'll be like oh can i have 100 i can only do 50. okay i was like oh you know i need i need money for thanksgiving dinner so he was like, am I invited? I'm like, yeah. So he was like, okay. Um, I was like, he was like, how much you need? I was like, a hundred. So he was like, okay. But I noticed he started to get really impatient with me. Like, you know, I'm not seeing her. I'm not getting anything out of this. I'm not getting any phone sex. I'm not getting real sex. I'm not getting nothing. 
all I'm getting is a conversation and you know her going around you know around in circles with me so I'm like okay he's probably coming to his senses and he's probably like yo she's using me you know but you're old I'm young why would anything be free even a conversation like no I've noticed he said he was taking his time sending the money so now it was like five days before Thanksgiving I'm like hey you know where's the money he's like oh I'll send it tomorrow so tomorrow comes, he didn't send it. The next day comes, it's like now, three more days till Thanksgiving. So he finally sends the money and he sends the text message like, oh, you know, here's the money. Here's the MTCN number. So I finally go and I and I go to the check cashing place and I get the money and I put 150 because, I don't know, I put 100 because that's how much I asked for. So the bank teller gives me 300 and I like, Oh, I think she made a mistake. So I took the money and I left. <laughs> so she gave me the 300 and I'm like, thank you. And I just ran out of there. Like, I I just counted it. I'm like, he's supposed to send 100, not 300. He sent 300. So I wrote him. I was like, how much did you send? He called me. And I'm like, hi, thank you so much. How much did you send? He was like, I sent 300. I'm like, oh my God, thank you. Like, really? Thank you. He was like, Tia? I was like, yes, Jimmy. He was like, I can't do this anymore. I'm like, so this is farewell money? Like, he was like, yeah, he was like, I know we're not gonna, you know, ever see each other again. And I know you're using me for money and you're very beautiful, but I can't do this anymore. Like, I can't allow you to use me. I was like, well, thanks for what, you know, you gave. Like, I was like, I understand, you know, Jimmy, it's just, I'm young, you're older. You expect me to move in with you. I don't even know you, you could be a serial killer. like." You know, there's so many things going on. I would rather us just be friends. Like, that's what I thought you wanted in the first place. And he was like, no, I can't do this anymore. You know, my health is not good. I'm like, are you dying? Like, what's going on? He was like, oh, you know, nice knowing you. I'm like, nice knowing you too. Thank you for the money. Happy Thanksgiving. Click, you know. So basically, that's how I got cut off from my sugar daddy you know i probably should have had a little bit more practice to keeping him around but you know I, i'm not really a user i don't use people but he asked for it so and i didn't have a job and i was in school and i was working hard in school getting good grades and i was like i'm, I'm milking the cow like that's it like i do miss my sugar daddy i do wish i had another one that was a little richer you know but you know, yeah, like, cause you know, I have a job, I have a good Japan job. I don't need a sugar daddy, but I wouldn't mind having one, okay? Yeah, guys, that's my, my little short story time or whatever. Let me know if you guys have a sugar daddy, had a sugar daddy. And listen, ladies, sugar daddies, don't think you have to sleep with your sugar daddy, cause you don't, okay? Um, Don't think you have to get fellatio, cause you don't. You don't have to do anything sexual. If they really like you, They'll give you that money. They give you that cash. Okay. If not, get a job. Don't depend on no guy anyway. You know, still have your money on the side. But yeah. Uh, thanks for listening to my story. Okay. Leave some comments down below. If you do say anything disrespectful, I will block your comment. Block you from this channel. Okay. But yeah, guys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Grand Magnificent signing out. Love you guys. Mm.